Hello and welcome to the training on what is a problem statement. This is presented to you today by Martha for Business Online Learning. The definition of a problem statement is a problem statement is a concise description of the issues that need to be addressed by a problem solving team. The benefits of having a good problem statement are, as the world famous quality management philosopher Kairo Ishikawa said, you will have a problem half solved by defining it correctly on the first day. There are five aspects to every problem and this is how you will structure your problem statement. You define what is wrong, where it happened, when it occurred, to what extent this is a problem. And you define, I know that because each problem statement has to contain the what, in other words, what objects have the defect, what is the defect. You look at where that defect has been observed geographically or even where on the object. You look at when this was a problem, when was it first observed, what is the history, is there a pattern. You then define how much is this a problem, how many objects have these defects, how many defects in each object, is there a trend. Then you ask how do I know this, what is the standard that we fail to meet. The points you need to remember when you are writing your problem statement. It should not include any cause of the deficiency or defect, it does not include any likely actions or solutions and it must be clear, concise and very specific. You do this by asking yourself the right questions. A good problem statement will clearly define what is wrong, where the problem occurred, when the problem occurred, the extent of the problem and how I know this is a problem. Here is our first example. The availability of equipment is poor. This is what is wrong. Where it went wrong was for the elderly care. When it occurred, since the rationalization of services. How much or the extent is given with delays caused by the lack of availability have increased by 35%. How do we know this? Because the other patient traffic had increased only by 7%. Example number two. What is the problem? The accuracy in our documents is insufficient. Where? In purchasing. When? After the introduction of the new software. How much? The errors have increased by 23%. How do we know this? The target was to reduce the errors by 85%. This is our problem statement. Our third example. What is the problem? The suppliers in the Northeast are dissatisfied. Where are they dissatisfied? With the ordering service. When did this occur? Since starting in March. How much is this a problem? Errors have increased by 21%. How do we know this? While complaints from the other regions have remained stable at the same time. Final points to remember. Try to be as complete as possible, as early as possible. If the problem statement is well crafted, subsequent brainstorming activities by the project team will work out far more smoothly. And finally, a good problem statement is essential to finding a good solution. We would like to invite you to join us on our various social media. We are on Facebook with Business Online Learning. We have our own YouTube channel, Business of Learning. We are on Pinterest, on Google Plus with a lively community. I'm on LinkedIn with Martha Begley and on Twitter with Online Martha. We would also like to invite you to join us on our newsletter. This is free and you get this book worth $7.99 for free and also be constantly updated on new products we're producing. Finally, we would like to thank you and wish you the very best of luck.